Hey guys and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're all about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. If you haven't already, now's a fabulous time to subscribe, so click the link below and we've got some amazing content coming up which I'm sure you'll enjoy. If you're one of our regular subscribers, thank you ever so much for joining us again. And in this video, we're going to talk about glowing skin. Five easy steps. It's going to be a quick video. Five easy steps how you can get your skin ready for summer, get glowing and look fabulous. For me, here in the UK, um, it's coming into spring now. So I want my skin to look the best for summer where you're going to be out in that natural light. It's going to be shown off to the world. You might be going on holiday. You um, Often you'll start getting a little bit of a tan and you want to be able to show your skin off at its best. So I think now is a really good time to make sure you check your skincare routine, make sure it's got those ingredients in that you need to get that glowing skin. So give it, I always say, three months for these products to work. So if you start now, by summer, you will be glowing. So this is my five easy steps to glowing skin. Step one, vitamin C. I've gone on and on and on about this on the channel. So if you haven't got it now already, you need to watch the video. I'll link up there all about vitamin C. It is the number one active ingredient that is going to bring back that luminosity to the skin, help even out the skin tone, help bring back that vibrancy that sometimes we lose because we just, well, we can't see the good skin for all the dead skin sitting on top and clogging our pores. So you do need a vitamin C. I'm currently using the um, l ascorbic acid powder by the ordinary downside is it is fiendishly messy because it's a powder upshot is it's really good because you can mix it in with your moisturizer um, and just put it on i like it because you can control the um you can tr control the strength of it obviously the more you mix in with your moisturizer the stronger it's going to be I, it is exceptionally strong it's 100 percent pure so it is exceptionally strong so i use a little bit every single day and my skin looks so much better than it did before. It's taken away quite a bit of the pigmentation problems that I had and replaced the skin with just glowing and much more luminous than it used to be. At the moment, and I apologise for looking quite ratchet compared to some of my other videos, but I've come down with a bit of a cold, so I'm not feeling 100%. I'm, but just because you might not be feeling great doesn't mean that your skin can't still glow and look fabulous. So this is the key, the first and most important step to glowing gorgeous skin. Get yourself a vitamin C. Second step has to be exfoliation. So there is no point having gorgeous skin if you can't see it because you've just got layers of debris, dead skin, clogged pores sitting on top of it, preventing it from getting through. So let the gorgeous skin you've got shine through and get a good exfoliant. There's two options. You can do it daily and make it part of your skincare routine, or you could do something once or twice a week. Use a stronger product, but less frequently. I personally like to do it daily because I think then I remember when I, I don't need to remember when I need to do it, when I don't need to do it. So I use the glycolic acid 7% toning solution by The Ordinary. This is a daily AHA toner. It's fantastic. It's not too strong, so you can use it every single day. It doesn't create any redness, any peeling, so there's no downtime. And you don't have to remember when to use it and when not, because it's an everyday habit. Make sure you get one of those. If you don't want to do something daily um, and increase the amount of um, steps in your routine, that's absolutely fine. Use a weekly treatment mask. Um, I've got a whole video on masks. Check that out because it's got some really good ones um, according to your skin type. But from an exfoliating perspective, I would recommend the Nip Fab um, Salicylic Mask. That's fantastic if you've got oily or combination skin. That'll to help to calm everything down, prevent the excess oil, and um, help rediscover that fantastic skin that's sitting there just waiting to come through. That's a good option. Alternatively, if you um, if you prefer something a um, little cheaper, because that mask is a little bit on the expensive side if you're going to be using two a week, the AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution by The Ordinary. It's not a peeling solution. It's a very strong exfoliator. Use it once a week, twice if you can stand it, but some skin types, um, particularly if you're very sensitive, once a week will be enough. But what this will do is 10 minutes once a week, and it will just slough off all that top layer of dead skin clogged skin revealing gorgeous skin underneath so this an absolute godsend if you don't want to daily exfoliate this is your next best thing once a week 10 minutes you're good to go i think for me the next step or the most the third because i think we're on three <laughs> most important step is hydration so your skin needs to look plump it needs to look 
fabulous to in order to glow you need all of your cells need to be properly hydrated as well as being properly nourished and best way of doing that is obviously to drink plenty of water so check your fluid intake make sure you're drinking plenty of water particularly in summer actually where our needs do increase so plenty of water but also making sure you're looking after that external hydration have you got hyaluronic acid in your routine if you haven't you absolutely need one to give that plump skin so there's no point in your skin looking glowy if it's looking um, sallow and it's not looking at its best so get, get a good moisturizer a hyaluronic acid and a good moisturizer i use the ordinary um moisturizing natural moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid so it's a two-in-one it's a fantastically cheap yet effective moisturizer it just seals in the amazing skincare work that you've done but gives your skin a chance to plump up and look at its best so step three a really good moisturizer for me, step four is the manual work that you can do to the the massage that you can do to get the skin alive. So I've done a whole video on facial massage. Um, I'll link it up there. That's an evening video. It doesn't need to happen in the evening. You could eat just as easily do it in the morning. But the important thing is to massage. Underneath your skin, you've got tons of lymph nodes you've got lymph um, glands and fluid which is just sitting there and what you need to do is get that moving because what the lymph does is it's the natural drainage for the skin um, for the body so it takes out any toxins that are building up any nasties you don't want those sitting inside your skin and if we massage and do it correctly so you're massaging towards the lymph points then you'll see a massive difference. So any of that puffiness that you're getting, the tiredness that you might be feeling, will be gone. Any impurities will be removed quicker. So your body can focus on looking amazing rather than fighting all those impurities which are sitting under the skin. So massage is really important. People often say, use massage to awaken the skin. You're not awakening anything. I mean, the skin's already awake. It's alive. It's, it's, it's close to your cells. But it will make the skin look more awake because what you're doing is moving everything about, getting it moving, and making sure that you're getting the best drainage of all the toxins and all the nasties in the skin, getting it out of the face, and allowing your body then to repair itself and look amazing. So that's step four. And finally, step five goes without saying, and that is a really good SPF. Particularly, I mean, I use an SPF year round, but particularly we're coming into summer, you need to use a good SPF, which is gonna be um, preventing any sun damage. There is no point doing all this fantastic work and getting your skin looking on point to then just get a load of sun damage and undo all the great work you've done. So do all of what I've just said and seal it all in with a fantastic, fantastic sunscreen. I'm currently using the In Transit Skin Defense by This Works. It's quite difficult to get hold of in the States. In the UK, um, it's readily available um, in most of the drugstores. Boots do it. Um, it's a really good product. Mid-price, it's about £12 for this. So it is mid-price. But it is a really lightweight, you won't even know you're wearing it. It doesn't, it's non-comedogenic, so it won't clog your pores, and it's factor 30. Um, so it'll provide amazing UVA and UVB protection to stop you burning and stop your aging. That's it, guys. Five steps, glowing skin. I'd love it. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you're doing this summer. I'm 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 all about summer. I love, love, love when the weather starts getting warmer, particularly here in the UK. It can get very cold over winter and it has been a little bit cold recently. So I just love it when the sun's shining and everything just seems amazing and bright. And I want my skin to match that. I want my skin to be glowing um, and look at its best at that time of the year. So let me know, guys, what do you do? Um, is there anything you're going to change as a result of this video? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing for summer. Any holiday plans and exciting things like that? Let me know. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you'll give it a thumbs up. And um, that certainly helps our channel. Um, we're growing really fast at the moment and we're getting some fantastic feedback from you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.